everyone well they had another earthquake large earthquake off of Tofino Canada or Vancouver Island a magnitude 5.2 these earthquakes started about four days ago and I think I got most of them pretty well uh, tracked here it's along the uh, southern Explorer Ridge that they talk about here yeah it's an indication that pressure has built up yeah, is there going to be a large earthquake along the Cascadia subduction zone? I don't know. Here we have Vancouver Island. All these earthquakes started with this magnitude 4.7, which I've talked about how the Pacific Plate is slowly uh, trying to subduct under the North American Plate over here. In my own personal opinion, I think it's got to do with the weakening of the Earth's magnetic field. And did you hear recently? How they now have determined that the Earth's molten core is now going in a reverse direction. Yep, it's actually reversed. Yeah. So, what does that mean? What is the potential? What could happen in the future? I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, definitely share. I'm also on Patreon. I put videos up on Patreon that YouTube will not allow me to post. So you might want to jump over there and check it out. This 5.2 earthquake, two people reportedly, supposedly, said they felt it. 6.2 miles in depth or uh, 10 kilometers. The first wave, the pressure of the earthquake came from um, the south. Yeah, not surprising. Tension was applied going towards the east. The reports came as far as Van, um, Victoria Island, right there, um, intensity level 2. And then we got Langley, intensity level 3. Now, many scientists used to say that it was impossible for the Earth's core to suddenly or even gradually reverse direction, but it has done that. It's hard to predict exactly what would happen in that case. Now, according to Manesh Kamar Deb Sarkar, the Earth's inner core is a solid sphere of iron and nickel, about the size of a moon. It is believed to be responsible for the creating of the Earth's magnetic field, which helps protect us, the planet itself, from harmful solar radiation and charged particles. A change in the rotation of the Earth's inner core is likely to cause disruptions of the Earth's magnetic, magnetic field. The magnetic field is created by the movement of the molten iron in the outer core, which is believed to be driven by the rotation of the inner core. If the inner core were to spin in the opposite direction, it would also affect the flow of the molten iron in the outer core, causing changes in the magnetic field. Well, we have noticed, and I've talked about how we got the weakening of our magnetic field. This could potentially lead to significant changes in the Earth's climate and weather, weather patterns. Well, that's definitely going on now, too, isn't it? It would also create or trigger seismic activity, including earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. When the Earth's magnetic field reversed last time, yeah, there was great earthquakes. Uh, many huge volcanic eruptions because the inner core is at the center of the earth changes in the rotation can cause stress and strain on the earth crust and mantle resulting in an increase of earthquakes now most scientists believe this could never happen because the inner core is believed to be fixed and, and unable to move significantly and the driving force behind the rotation is unknown some theories suggest that the inner core rotates in the same direction as the Earth, while other theories suggest that the inner core does not rotate at all. Back on July 5th, CNN published an article about the Earth's core, 
how it's, it, it had slowed down so much, it was actually now moving backwards, and scientists have now confirmed this. The Earth's core is so deep that it's virtually impossible to observe or sample directly what is going on. So what they do is they use earthquake waves and after a large earthquake how they the signal, the signature bounces around the earth. Last year in 2023 it was proposed that the earth spin was slowing down but many scientists said that they disagreed that this could actually happen and uh, more information needed to be, you know, collected, more data, more studying. So new findings now confirm that the changes in rotation speed follow a 70-year cycle. Uh, the study co-author, John Vidal, Dean's professor of earth science at the University of Southern California, he said that they've been arguing about this for 20 years and now they nailed it. He said it ends the debate on whether the inner core moves and what has been its pattern for the last couple of decades. A lot of scientists supposedly are not convinced and they don't know how it's going to affect the earth or at least that's what they're saying. There was a documentary that I watched here on YouTube probably 10 years ago talking about the last magnetic pole reversal of the earth taking samples from past lava flows to show how it changed and what direction etc and I've talked about what I learned from that documentary the magnetic field just doesn't suddenly flip from north to south and south to north what it does is it bounces around the earth uh, at different points kind of like the divots in a golf ball and there's arguments among scientists how long that took some say it took as long as 10,000 years before the Earth magnetic field finally settled to where it is now. During that time, those 10,000 years, yeah, there was great earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. And the Earth's continents actually moved. I don't know how fast they moved, but if they, if they moved fast, they, yeah, they probably created tsunamis. Now, scientists believe if the Cascadia subduction zone had another large earthquake where the entire Cascadia subduction zone ripped ruptured. It would probably create a tsunami about a hundred feet high. There in Hawaii about 1.5 million years ago, supposedly that far back, uh, there was uh, a collapse of a volcano there that created a tsunami 100 meters high or about 330 feet. I'll give you a link to this paper and I've often talked about this area when doing um, reports about the earthquakes there on the big island but here you can see the hill in a slump yeah can you imagine a tsunami um yeah over 300 feet high just an example of what could happen hopefully it doesn't ever happen but yeah they wonder why earthquakes are increasing around the world this may be the cause there was also a report oh three years ago maybe farther how the nickel and iron is now coming up um, showing up in the lavas of different volcanoes they don't want people to panic so they don't tell you about what could happen what has happened in the past and what has happened in the past will always repeat itself always yeah you know, for now the pacific plate seems to be stuck in this location eventually it will subduct underneath the uh, North American plate but it does show that tension has built are you prepared um, are you going to get prepared uh, please be prepared you just don't know when it's going to happen like I said the last time the earth's magnetic field uh, reversed it took over 10,000 years to settle where it is now so it's not just going to happen overnight it also will affect of course our electrical grid um, anything with power GPS your sewer systems your water systems things are happening that scientists believed that could never happen in the past so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll talk to you later Bye.